So today I'm talking about a P0843 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0843 code? Well, it's a transmission fluid pressure sensor switch A circuit high. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called a transmission fluid pressure sensor that's just monitoring the pressure of the transmission fluid and it's reporting this information back to the computer. But when you get this P0843 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this sensor or inside the circuit going to it, that the voltage is high for some reason. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0843 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low transmission fluid, overfilled transmission fluid, or the transmission fluid is really dirty. So the first thing to go and do, if possible, is go and check the transmission fluid or be sure it's correct. A lot of vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, it's a good idea to go and check it and be sure it's at the right level. Usually if the transmission fluid is low or if it is really overfilled or really dirty or anything like this, you also be getting a lot of other codes. So for example, if you're also getting like a P0868 code, transmission fluid pressure low, or other similar codes, then there might be some kind of problem going on with the fluid. But if you're just getting this P0843 code, then very likely it's gonna be something else. But just keep in mind that low fluid, overfilled fluid, or really dirty transmission fluid that can affect these pressure sensors and cause them to get bad readings. The next thing that's gonna cause is the bad transmission fluid pressure sensor A. It might've just gone bad and just need to be replaced. If you do go to work on a transmission with the vehicle that has this code, you're going to need to get a diagram where all the sensors are located and things like this. Keep in mind that there can be more than one transmission fluid pressure sensor. There's some different ways to go about testing these fluid pressure sensors. There's some good videos on that. A lot of times what mechanics do is they'll go test the wiring, and if the wiring's good, then they'll replace the sensor. But the next thing that's going to cause this is a bad transmission fluid pressure sensor. And the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. There's like an open, there's a short, there's a back connection, something like this. It's also a good idea to go check for any blown fuses. Basically anything labeled like TCM, PCM, ECU, anything like that. Although usually if a fuse blows, you'll begin a lot of other codes. But it can be a good idea to go check for any blown fuses. There can also be two wire sensors or three wire sensors. When there's two wire sensors, usually the ground is going to be on the outside case. And if you have a multimeter, you can go and check and be sure that you've got good voltage going to it, you've got a good ground wire going to it, or the ground might be on the outside on the case, and that the signal wire going back to the computer, that it's good, that there's no issues going on there. Because the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of wiring issue going to that transmission fluid pressure sensor. And the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of transmission issue going on. There could be like a bad valve body, a bad solenoid, possibly like a blocked up passage or something like that. Usually if something like that happens, you begin a lot of the codes. Very likely you begin like shift solenoid codes and different things like this because they wouldn't be able to work. So that would trigger codes. But it is possible that there's some kind of problem going on with the transmission. So be sure to keep that in mind. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of problem with the computer. And this could be a bad powertrain control module or a bad transmission control module. Again, usually if this happens, you'll be getting a lot of other codes. Usually when a computer goes bad, it's not going to just give you one code. It'll be giving out a whole lot of codes. If you do think you have some kind of computer problem, be sure that the battery is good. Be sure that the alternator is charging correctly. Because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply along with a good ground or that can throw them off and just cause them to have issues. But the last thing on the list that's going to cause this is a faulty computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0843 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.